Lesson 612, Number Stories with Fractions and Mixed Numbers. The main focus of this lesson is for you to find the difference between two mixed numbers, for you to be able to discuss fractions and mixed number problems, and for you to be able to solve those same problems. But first, let's start with our mental math influencing. I want you to tell me greater than, less than, or equal to. The first problem shows you six tenths and nine tenths. Hopefully you know that nine tenths is greater than. So as I read it though, it should say six tenths is less than nine tenths because we always read a problem from left to right. So again, 55 hundredths versus 65 hundredths. The same as the first one, 55 hundredths is less than 65 hundredths. And finally, 34 hundredths versus 35 hundredths. And all three are the same with the less than symbol because the first number displayed is less than the other number. Read this problem to yourself as I read it out loud. It says, Liam is choosing between two school backpacks. The black one weighs one and five eighths pounds. The blue one weighs two and one eighth pounds. Which one weighs more and how much? All right, so first of all, I have one that weighs two and an eighth, and I already know that two and an eighth is more than one and five eighths. So I'm gonna write my number problem with the unknown. And I'm going to put my unknown as W for weighs or how much weight. You could have put it P for the word pounds also. One way to solve this problem, because I know that one eighth, I cannot take five eighths away, is to decompose two and one eighth into the sum of whole numbers and a fraction with a denominator. For instance, I know 2 and 1 eighth is really 1 plus 1 plus an eighth. Well, that hasn't really helped me yet because I still only have the 1 eighth to try to take 5 eighths away. So I'm going to decompose now this first number 1. So I know that 1 plus 8 eighths plus the one-eighth is going to equal one and nine-eighths. Now that I have that figured out, now I can subtract the one and five-eighths. First, I'm going to subtract the whole numbers, one minus one, is zero. Then I'm going to subtract the fractions. 9 minus 5 is 4 and once again my denominator stays the same as ace. So it weighs 4 ace, 4 ace what? 4 ace pounds. That is my answer. So that's how, what you can do to help you decompose a number when you need to break it down even further so that you can subtract the fractions. Another strategy I could use is I could have counted up. I could have said that 1 and 5 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 2. And then 2 plus an eighth equals 2 and an eighth. Then I could have done 3 eighths plus 1 eighth equals the 4 eighths. 
the same answer that I just came up with on the previous slide. So there are two different ways that you could come up with this answer. You also could have drawn it. You could have done a circle of the two and an eighth. So this would be two. And I'm sorry, this is really not great drawing here. And an eighth. And then I was going to subtract the one and the five eighths, which would roughly look like this if I had a great drawing here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I could have colored them in and said, well, if all of these were cut into ace, this one would take care of this one. In order for me to use this, I need to color, cut this into ace. Now I need to take away five. So I'd take away this one, and then I'd take two, three, four, five. How many are left? One, two, three, four, again, for an answer of four A's. I can count up, I can draw it, or I can decompose. Three different methods to help you figure out a problem. Both Math Journal, page 220 and 221, are assessment check-ins. If you need to rewind this recording again to watch how to do what I just did, please take the time to do that so you understand. I will walk you through one more of these problems, and then you must do the rest by yourself, bring it up to me, and then I will help you if you did not get them right. So, follow along as I read. Shamela's full backpack weighed 10 and a fourth pounds before leaving school. She added a one subject notebook. Now her backpack weighs 11 pounds. How much does the one subject notebook weigh? The number model with the unknown. Well, I know now it weighs 11. And originally it weighed 10 and a fourth or 10 and a quarter. So what does it weigh now? And I'm going to put a B for backpack. So now you need to find out what 11 minus 10 and a fourth equals. Does the one subject notebook weigh more or less than 8 ounces? How do you know? You need to explain that. Pause the recording now and do number one. If you need to hear the other problems read to you, you can turn it back on to hear me reading it. Number two says, Carter's empty backpack weighed one and three fourths pounds. He filled it with a three and two fourths pound science book, a two fourths pound recorder, a fourth a pound calculator, and a one and a fourth pound notebook. How much does the filled backpack weigh? Your number model with the unknown would go on this line. You should realize that you're going to be adding these together if you're looking for how much it weighs now. You need to find that answer in pounds. Then you need to find out how many ounces the science book is. So I have to look at three pounds, convert that into ounces, and then two fours, two is half a four, so I gotta add half of a pound onto that total to come up with the total ounces. For the recorder, half a pound, again, two fours is how much? A fourth a pound. A calculator. Well, that's half of the pound cut in half again. And now the notebook. Do your number model with the unknown, answer in pounds, and then it says what is the combined weight of Ayla's and Jada's backpacks and ounces? You need to add them together. together. How do you know? Show your work. Pause the recording now, finish Math Journal page 220, then bring it up to me to check so that I can check one page at a time. 
After you've checked page 220 and 221 in the math journals with me for the assessment check, you need to do math journal page 222. I'm going to read the directions out loud, and then you're going to check your answers in the answer key. Any difficulties? Bring it to me. Number one says, Snea kept track of how much water she drank in April. The first and third weeks of the month, she drank three and one-fourth gallons. Well, I already know that I would need to write three and one-fourth twice because it says the first and the third weeks of the month. The second week, she drank three and three-fourths. And the third week, she drank four and a fourth. How much water does she drink in four weeks? And remember, I'm putting a double U as my unknown because that's for water. Pause the recording now and do math box one. You can finish the entire page 222 if you don't need it read to you. Math box 2 just says divide, show your work. First, look at the problem and estimate what your answer you think might be. And then actually divide it and compare it. Number 2, you're subtracting fractions. For this one, you simply subtract. For this one, don't forget, you have to have a number that when you take away 8 halves, you have 0 as an answer. For number 4, you're just filling it in with greater than, less than, or equal to signs. And for five, it wants you to explain how you solve problem 2B. Pause the recording now. Finish this math journal, page 222. Check it in the answer key. And then come to me if you have any difficulties. The final assignment for this lesson is Math Masters, page 251. Read it to yourself as I read it out loud. Don't forget, this is up in the file folder. So if you need to pause the recording to go grab it quickly, please do so. Write a number model with an unknown to represent the problem, and then solve. Martin had some leftover fruit from making fruit salad. He had three twelfths of a pound of strawberries and one twelfth a pound of blueberries. Which fruit weigh more? Well, hopefully you're seeing that the strawberries weighed more. How many pounds of fruit did Martin have left? So you're going to be adding, and for your unknown, you might want to just make the letter B for blueberries. And then letter B says, how much did the strawberries weigh? How much more did they weigh than the blueberries? So again, this time, you're subtracting, and your unknown will be the letter P. Finish Math Masters, page 251, and then bring it up to me so I can check it. Please do the practice. Don't skip any of it. If you need me to read problem two, after you get done pausing and finishing these two, go ahead and turn it back on and I will read problem two and three to you. Problem two says, Charlotte and Beth each made a vegetable salad to take to a reunion. Together, the salads weigh six pounds. Charlotte's salad weighed three and a half pounds. How much did Beth's salad weigh? Well, if you know the total is six, and you're taking away Charlotte's salad, the three and a half pounds, what's Beth's salad weigh? That's your unknown. Equals, I'd put a B for Beth's salad. Write that down in pounds. B says, how much more did Charlotte's salad weigh than Beth's? Well, you have to know what Beth's salad weighed, and then you have to take away the three and a half that Charlotte's weighed to figure out that in pounds. Number three says, Andy's potato salad weighed one and three eighths pounds more than Marty's. Marty's weighed four and two eighths pounds. How much did Andy's potato salad weigh? Well, if it was more than, you're going to put Marty's potato salad down, and then you're going to have to add one and three eighths more to figure out for Andy's to find out the pounds here. And the final two problems, you're going to multiply. Stop the recording now. Finish math masters page 251 and then bring it up to me so I can check it off that you have finished this lesson. Thank you.